What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into my channel. My name is Creepers and I'm here today to talk on the current situation of Paladins. Many people have been doing videos lately on, you know, regarding uh, their situation of bug fixes, of, uh, for example, unbalanced champions or even worrying too much about money. And I decided to do this video. I already recorded before this, but the video was like 30 minutes long and I'm trying to make a shorter version, basically. And also be a little bit more careful on the words because I was a really, really angry on certain things that I saw. Um, I've seen some videos of certain people. I'm not going to mention names. Uh, there's been a lot of people doing these videos lately and some of them have caught up on the eye of Harris and to the point that even Thunderbrush went on to Twitter and said that they are watching these videos, but please do make sure to, you know, to stop swearing and start shouting, stop shouting and yelling and so on. And I kind of agree. Uh, if you want to give an opinion, it's not necessary to actually just to treat them like crap, you know. And to be quite honest, there's a couple of points here that I, ha I have to mention. One of them is the Mixer, uh, Facebook, Twitch situation. Uh, I also want to talk about the skin situation and then the balancing and bug situation. So let's start off with the Mixer and Twitch and Facebook. In case you guys don't know, there's a lot of people complaining about the situation because a lot of Twitch streamers are feeling less supported by Harris because they're moving mainly into Mixer. Uh, a lot of people say that Mixer is not a good platform. I kind of disagree. I think it's actually good because it's an interactive place. Uh, I think you can even interact more with Mixer than Twitch. And I know that a lot of people are going to the comments right now and say, hey, but uh, remember the Fury situation? I kind of understand that, but it was not their fault. Uh, Mixer themselves actually came to public and t on Twitter and so on, and they said, it's a problem on our system. Uh, we deeply apologize because just so you to understand the the seriousness the seriousness of this situation even Harris said you know what uh, we're just gonna get everything we're just gonna give away everything to everybody and that'll be it so everybody ended up having the cold snap fury a dream hack maven even the chests it doesn't really matter how much time you saw from one hour to 20 hours it doesn't really matter um it's, it kind of sucks, but I understand it's not their fault. It happens. There was above 20, 30,000 people watching and the system probably broke and trying to give the rewards to everybody at the same time it wasn't working properly. So the timer was always resetting. So we got that situation. Now we have the mixer point situation that a lot of people are complaining, but you guys, you had to stop complaining on this system for one small little reason. Mixer points are something that are they're trying to implement. They're trying to see if it's a good thing or not it's not a hundred percent finished it's not a hundred percent polished yet and a lot of people actually complain that you know it's not working or i want more points or this and that but the thing is you gotta understand they're actually giving you th stuff for free and i understand the opinion of certain twitch streamers who have mentioned that they're basically like artificial viewers because on mixer you can literally just stand there without having to talk on chat or anything else you just leave it on and you can even put pause and it will still count for some reason uh but i think that's more of a mixer situation and not high risk because i'm not a i'm not seeing high risk wanting that and then you know just uh, removing the fact of the mixer, mixer points and cold snap furia hrx and so on let's talk about the fact itself that they went into mixer and that i've been exclusively on facebook once before uh everybody disagrees that you know no, I'm sorry. Everybody agrees that Facebook is not the best, and I agree with that as well. Facebook, I've never seen it as a, a streaming platform. I've always seen it more like a social media, just to, you know, sharing your life or whatever you want to share there, not gameplay wise. Like Twitch is definitely a hundred percent better than Facebook for that. But Mixer has never been to the Facebook side. Mixer has always been sort of like a second version of Twitch, and with a little bit more polished and everything being worked i think it could even be better than twitch because twitch is how can i say this it has a couple of streaming end issues but it doesn't really matter um i for example i stream mainly on youtube and i understand that people from twitch are feeling you know less supported by harris but if you take a look for example into my position I stream mainly on youtube there's not a lot of people who stream on youtube and the people who stream on youtube have nothing literally nothing there's nothing there for us the only thing that we have is the ads from youtube to support us and on streams is not even the same way the donations they 
YouTube keeps apart. When you go into Twitch, they keep less. And I know this is not Harris fault, but I understand that also a lot of people are complaining, like for example, the store of crystals on Twitch never worked properly. They never decided to implement something like based on, you know, s supporting the streamers, the content creators, like you would use a code and some, like something would go to the content creator. I understand all of that, but we got, we got a, like, for example, Fortnite hit, reached a peak a long time ago and it has been burning, burning and burning until one day it's going to start decreasing, which I believe it's already there. But only recently they decided to put something where when you buy, buy th things with V-Bucks, it's called a V-Bucks, uh, you can use a code and it's a code with the name of the content creator you want to support. And that person, I think it be believe it either gains skins or V-Bucks, something like that. And like, Har like Harris is, hasn't even reached half of that point. So if anything, I'm not even seeing them right now focusing on that. I think they are focusing on things that people believe that they're not being focused. And I'll talk about that in the end of the video. Let's just finish off this part of Mixer and Twitch and Facebook. There's a reason why they probably are on Mixer. And I believe it's in some sort of a deal. Probably Mixer offered them some sort of, you know, a deal where if they got a lot of people watching, they would gain a lot of money because you can't even subscribe to their channel, to be honest, or even... Uh, give them money with the sparks. So if anything, I think it's mainly because of the view cartridge. And since even if their artificial still counts, uh, it's good for them. I understand that a lot of people are mad about this, but guys, I'm a content creator myself. I feel sad that many people are there not even watching the stream. It's true. But I can't complain. The game is for free, free to play, and they need to make money somehow. So what are you expecting for them to just sit around on Twitch and, you know, just, uh, yeah, let's give support to these channels, which some of them even do more things than just Paladins or just Ram Royale or just Smite. They're not 100% dedicated and not gain money from these deals because they're, the only way they're making money is money from the skins. And I understand one point of view that it's completely correct. The more publicity that we do to the game, and the better that the game is, more our players and you know viewers and so on will be happy and end up staying more in the game and end up buying more in the game. I understand that logic, but the problem is it doesn't work like that nowadays because there's too much competition. Overwatch, for example, demolishes it and it's already dying, so imagine that. You have that situation, then there's battle royales everywhere. Ram Royale reached his peak and died immediately. Uh, it's still, you know, still going, like, on that little straight line, but still going. So, I do not judge Harris for doing deals with Facebook or Mixer at all. I completely agree with it. And, hell, if that's what it, it's necessary to keep the game running, keep the servers up, and, you know, not make us lose all this precious time that we've had, uh, I'd rather have it like that, especially because I played Overwatch, and I have to be incredibly honest. I played both Overwatch and Paladins, and I had a lot more fun on Paladins. Whether I was going against five stacks, losing or not, than actually playing Overwatch. Because Overwatch is always the same thing. It's more of only countering champions, uh, heroes, I'm sorry. And on Paladins, it's completely different. Okay, Paladins, you have many different ways to play. You can go a damage healer, you can go a flank healer, you can even go a tank healer if you want, or just full healer, and so on. Same thing happens with all of the other, uh, sub, you know, all the other classes. Now, <sighs> this this is this is really hard to talk about. Like, I don't want to attack anybody here, but I think that a lot of people who are going to watch this video are going to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the situation. N next subject is skins. Skins, uh, I understand a lot of people are complaining that they're releasing skins every single patch. And this part, I'm, 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 I'm just going to say it. Like, it's not even important. I got nothing against Z1. But on the part where you said that I don't use skins until they optimize the game. Um, you're not Tfue, man. I'm sorry. Tfue got banned and... He, he didn't have any rights. Like, they were right on what the band they did. And he decided to unsupport Epic Games and even created a movement of the default skins, no skins, and so on, without buying one single skin. Right? And 
you doing the same, it's understandable, like you're standing against them, okay, but this game is already small, it's not like the levels of Fortnite, and if you're complaining that the game is dying, then why are you even making it worse, because I just mentioned a few minutes ago, they need money, and the money comes from skins, bundles, battle passes, that's the only monetization that they have. Okay, then there's sponsors, which is Mixer and Facebook and so on. And you're complaining about all of this. I think when people complain about money, when people complain about Harris caring about money, it's the same thing as saying, oh, the game is already free, so everything else has to be free. You have to maintain this all. And all your workers, they do not need money to eat, to feed their families or anything else. You need to have everything for free. Dude, I get it. Going no skins because of that? I mean, if you would tell me, like, oh, I'm going no skins because certain skins have bugs, hell, I would agree with that. Hell. I I could, I, I sometimes don't use certain skins because they're bugged. Agreed. But because they don't optimize the game, they optimize the game. That's the problem. You telling people that they don't optimize the game, that's what bothers me the most. Because if you go into every single patch note that they bring every single patch that comes on the patch notes you go down in the list and there's always bug fixes there's always performance uh, fixes and so on visual audio fixes and so on and you got to understand they have a lot of people there but they also have different teams they also have teams just for nintendo switch they have teams just for social media so it's not like a hundred people only focusing on pc paladins okay so it's hard to fix every single thing you want and it's the same thing as I mentioned before, and I also mentioned this on my previous recording. Um, coding and programming, it's not as easy as it looks. I've seen how it is, and it, all, all, it always depends on how the programmers work. They can work with different programs. Uh, some, of, for some of them are easier than others. Um, but, like, imagine you have this code with only ones and zeros, and you're trying to fix this one thing where you put it a one in the part, uh, like, in the beginning. But the problem is, in the end, that overall has to have this specific amount of characters, but at the same time, it also has to have this specific result of all the characters together. I'm just giving you a small example. This is not how it actually works. Imagine that you have to change that one in the back, and you change it to a zero. But now, we're missing one number, and you change it in the front to fix it. But the problem is, it can't be changed there. And while changing it there... You fix the problem, the, the initial problem, but you ended up creating another one. And the same thing goes for Terminus. In case you didn't notice, Terminus has been buggy since its release. And tr it's true. Sometimes worse than others. But on this precise moment, recently, um, he was even banned from the HRX, as I was mentioned. Uh, there's a couple of, of uh, problems with his ult where he wasn't, you couldn't ult. You just couldn't ult. And they fixed it. But they brought back some of the old bugs, where when he ults, he's going on a different direction. You can't even see the initial point of the ult. Um, where when he gets revived, he's being laid on the ground. He's like just sliding on the ground after being alive again. Uh, you know, stuff like that. And and I understand how it works. I just, I, I get, pa I'm patient. Okay, if people use Terminus, I have to work my way around it. I have to adapt. That's it. That's, I understand it's not fun to play a game that it's all buggy, but I also understand that they don't have the budget like, for example, Overwatch does. Okay, I understand that. And hitboxes need to be changed, rank system needs to be changed, tutorial and uh, training grounds need to be changed, but just, just give them time. They're doing it. Piece by piece, okay? It's, they're trying their best, and people just don't see that, and that annoys me a lot. People just focus on the bad sides... But they never say here, like for example, the other day there was a dev stream where the girl who uh, cosplayed as Furia back on the HRX, which is also an animator slash uh, developer or develop. Uh, I don't even know what she does exactly. She, I believe, she develops or does the animations of the characters. She was talking about the bones of the characters, so I'm believing creating the con like the structure of characters and so on, the movement, animations, and so on. And she said she took like one month and a half. Of all hours combined, just to do Furia. They had, for a very long time, a money built just for the cinematics and so on. But they also are testing it right now until they release it on PDS, until they have it all perfect. Because sometimes there's like spikes coming off of our hands and like our skin and so on. And so it needs to be fixed. 
there is also a limit because of the Unreal Engine 3, which I've mentioned before, it could become Unreal Engine 4 in January, so hopefully. Um, then we have this one last thing that I want to mention. I hope nobody gets offended by this, but low NPCs do bring a lot more problems in the game than high NPCs. Most of the bugs that I've seen are mostly on low NPCs. I'm not saying that high NPCs don't have this, but most of the bugs, like 75% of the bugs that happen are in low NPCs because they don't process the game properly and sometimes they create errors on the system because we have the game installed on our PC and the only thing that it's sent, it's data on where the characters are or where the points of the characters moving towards what it's supposed to do on our screen uh, and so on. Like it's only data being sent. It's not the animation that we're seeing. The animation is built upon the numbers that we receive and we send. And if a low NPC is not even like an, even a low connection internet, if all of this is, you know, slowing down the performance of the game, it ends up creating bugs, like visual bugs, like sound bugs, and so on. I've seen that happen all the time. I, for example, crash a lot less than most of the people that I know that have low NPCs. There has to be a reason here for it. I have good internet, I have a good computer, and the amount of bugs that I have are low. Now, for example, Terminus is a different matter. Terminus itself is bugged. He bugs whether he's on my PC or any other PC. So I'm, if anybody tries to use that example, I'm just warning you right now. There's certain things that will always be bugged for everybody, but there are certain bugs that will only happen mostly because of low NPCs. So getting all out of that of the way, um, there's only one final thing that I want to talk about and is for people to be patient. I understand that a lot of people are, you know, they think that Hyrus only cares about money. They don't care about performance issues or fixing bugs and so on. But you don't really know what's going on in there. It's like they said, like we have patches ready four months before it actually comes out. And so imagine that I'm complaining right now about like maybe, I don't know, like a Maeve bug where she pounces in the air and she hits an invisible target. They get the feedback, which you're not just going to give it on Facebook or, or just their videos on YouTube. You don't, just, you don't just go into their comments. That's what annoys me a lot on the community. You have to go into specific places. You complain about the issue and they'll study the issue. And as soon as they have time, because they have a, like a list, a huge ass list of bugs to fix and they go out through the bugs. Like you can't expect them to go. And I know what you, a lot of people are going to say like, oh, what about this bug has been here forever? Are you sure that they are not trying to fix it? As I mentioned before, Germanus is a lot, it's really buggy. Also, the, his playstyle is different from others because he's a melee champion. So it's a little bit harder to work around it. And the fact that they are releasing skins every patch, it's not to cover up the, pa the part that we're not fixing bugs. They're fixing bugs. Every patch has bug fixes. The problem is they need to put fresh content to force people to buy things so they can pay their employees so they can keep, you know, continue to play, uh, complete to play, continue to work and also to have budget for the servers and so on. Like these things do not pay for themselves and paying the employees to fix the bugs which they already have it all limited, including the limited amount of people there because they are not just focusing on PC Paladins, remember that. It's a lot harder. And like patch releases and so on. I know that people are saying every time that a patch is released, it has a shit ton of bugs. It's understandable because when they test them inside of their the system, everything works fine because there's like, what, 10 people in there that are going to test it out. But then you come into the live servers and like a lot of people is, are there and they're going to find bugs that they probably didn't find. And... I know what you guys are thinking. Ah, what about PDS, man? What is PDS doing there? Well, when PDS is there, and this is something that it goes for everybody, and this is going to include that little part that I mentioned before, the part of the feedback, giving the feedback on certain places. I do this a lot, unfortunately, and I already mentioned this before. I need to start talking more. I need to start going to certain places and complain about bugs. I like how a lot of people go into PDS and they see bugs and they say nothing. They complain about them, get out of PDS and go to bed. That's it. Nobody had the little trouble of getting out of PDS, going to the place to, you know, to report bugs and say, hey, I just found this on PDS. Nobody. Nobody. There may be like one, two people, but that's about it. 
90% of people who play PDS do not give a crap of giving feedback to people. I've asked this to everybody. I don't know one single soul that does that. Recently, I started doing it myself. I started complaining about the bugs. Um, I went, I did a report of the bug of the party that unfortunately went into the live server. And I talked to Elisa. I showed her that I did a video on how to fix it because there was a way to, to fix it by pressing the join button inside of the Steam profile picture, uh, profile uh, page of a person you wanted to join. And as such, you would join them. And that would be it. But uh, it was too much like in t into the hour. I just found out the like in the last few days. So I told her she didn't have the time. But like a, a few days after, they fixed it. And that was it. And there's a bug currently, for example, that sometimes when you try to queue, it says that the, the members of your party are still finishing up matches and you're solo. Just press the leave button and it'll fix it. And they are aware of that one as well. Okay? They're trying to fix thing by thing. So... I'm I'm just I'm just want to beg you guys something. Stop complaining about them caring for money because they need it. They have human beings working there that need to be fed and need to pay their bills. Okay, that's the first thing. Second, you don't need the skins to play, so if they're expensive, don't complain. That's it. They probably took a lot of work to create. Stop complaining. Third. Bug fixes and system performances are always being checked every single patch. Go into the patch notes and go into the end of the list. There's always there changes. Fourth, go into the report, the, the places to report bugs. There's places on their website saying support and so on. Go there and report bugs you see, especially when you're in PDS. And finally, please guys, give Harris a break. They have free to play games for you. They're not forcing you to pay anything. You don't have to pay for one single thing to play this game. So, if you guys start being a little bit nicer to them and giving more feedback and worry about more, you're going to improve the community because they're trying, but like they're being flamed all over RAM from every single corner. People are not giving a crap if they are, you know, keeping up with things or not because the only thing that they re receive is bad critics. And it's like Thunderbird said, if you want to do critics, if you want to give ideas and so on, do state it clearly and do not yell, do not call them names, do not swear, do not go into Twitter like, hey, this bug hasn't been fixed, you goddamn dumbasses. Don't do that. You're not fixing anything. You're making the problem worse because the real people who aren't, want to complain about bugs in order to help them sometimes get overshadowed by your videos, by your comments, and so on. And again, that's why I'm saying, go into the bright places to report the bugs. That's all I want to say for this video because, again, I said that the other video was 30 minutes long. This one is already 20, 23 minutes long. It's, it's, it's a little bit better, okay? Still said everything I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys understood what I said. Uh, do not take me wrong. If anybody got offended by this, please. And please help Hyrus fix this game. Okay, stop attacking them, start helping. Thank you so much for watching, that'll be it for today and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a wonderful time and happy holidays.